Welcome back to Next Level Rides. In today's episode, we're gonna go over the smaller details that all together make a big, big difference. We're gonna be working on my G30 BMW. I ordered a few smaller things for it, more cosmetic, but we're gonna get at it and I'm gonna show you what they look like. So the first thing we're gonna start with is these eyebrows that I ordered from, I believe it was Amazon. So all they really do with some double-sided tape is they're gonna stick on, and when they stick on, they're going to quiet down the white quite a bit. So I think it's gonna end up looking pretty good, and you just need to be careful, especially if you have dry hands or dirty hands that you'll scratch this finish. So be a little bit careful for this. I'm gonna use a little bit of glass cleaner and just clean the surface where we're gonna be mounting the eyebrows. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick away at this 3M tape. Actually, I can't even call it 3M tape. It looks like it's just generic Chinese mounting tape. All right, so corner looks pretty good. And this end piece, you just wanna make sure that it lines up really nice. Now, name of the game is just to make sure that the clear is taken care of and that it actually fits in there really well. So I think that looks good. So just squish it down. Now I'm not gonna go too aggressive over top of it just because I wanna make sure that it's even on both sides. So I'll get the other one done and just make sure that they're even first before I actually commit. All right, so next are gonna be these side vent covers. Oh, I see. So they give you the mounting tape, tape separate. That's super fucking annoying. All right, so on the other side, the cap didn't fit. I could trim it and I could get it to fit, but I didn't really like it and I wanted to try the carbon look. So when you go to pull it out, just be cautious of this lip. Just put a couple of fingers in there, pop it out, and it'll have these two yellow clips. Now, the one ended up kind of deforming and it wouldn't hold properly when I went to put it back the first time. So just be cautious with these five tabs to go on the five locator holes. Now I crazy glued it, so let's see if it's gonna hold. Here's hoping. But to take tension off of it, you can just push it down. And listen for the clip. That looks good. All right, so next up, the 540 is an M performance, so it does have all the fancy M stuff, but it does not have the M5 style mirrors. So what we're looking to do now is take this cap off and replace it with this one. Now, these were already painted black, and as you can see, they look really, really nice, but they have the little winglet here. So I'll show you how to take this one off so we can replace it with that. So first things first, we need to move this mirror. Now, what you want to do is you want to tip it all the way inward and all the way down, because there's two tabs right up top here that we need to access. All right, let's see. Can you reach the one? All right, let's try out the first one. Yeah, I'm not sure why they give you this. This thing's crap. Don't use that. Let's try it with a pick and flathead. Okay, it looks like we popped that side off. Let's see if we can grab the other side here. Ooh, okay. Just like that. I didn't expect that to uh, shoot out at me. So when you take it out, there's gonna be your turn signal just here. So what you wanna do is you wanna wiggle this light as you're holding it into place. Take that out. You're gonna take it out of there because we have to put this into the other casing. So we'll go to the bench and I'll show you how to retrofit it. All right, so I already took the other side off as well. So I guess I'll show you with that one. It has tiny, tiny little Torx, Torx bits. But to show you what you had to do is just inside here, you'll see there's these two tabs. So these two tabs will actually pinch on the inner casing of the, uh, the mirror. So you need to press the two tabs off at the same time, so up and down. So what I did is I put, you can put a flat head if you have a narrow one, turn it 45 degree or 90 degree. So put a flat head in there, turn it 90 degree. Now the precision one isn't good enough. So put a flat head in there, turn it 90 degree, and you can actually pick the corner off. Do the same for the other side. 
So once you pick it off, there's these two locator tabs. So you just wiggle it in and then it ends up locating the two pins. But now if it shows, you're gonna have a Torx screw here and here. So once you loosen those, you're gonna have to slide it outward and pop it right out. Okay, so there are T10. Very satisfying clicks. All right, so from there, this should be loose now. All right, so you pull this one tab, and as you push it down, that's it. So now we're gonna take a little bit of glass cleaner for plastic, which is ironic. Give this a nice clean while it's out. Now, while you're doing this, you, you could upgrade to, I believe they have an LED or a blue, blue style, but I decided to leave the OEM. I'm gonna go to put it back in. So that should be good. Okay, and that'll do it. So I'll just confirm it quick with the other side. Yeah, looks identical. So you can see without a wing, with a wing, and this one's in a little bit better shape. So these ones were 3 m so the 3 m is looking a little bit rough, but I'll keep these just in case I wanna go back. Now, not to jinx myself, but reassembly should be identical to how you took it out. So start with the light connector to make sure your turn signals work. And then two locator tabs on the inside should click together. Okay, signal works. Looks pretty good. So the last thing I have to put on are these little caps. So I'm not completely certain if I like these, but this kinda gives you the idea just to cut down the chrome just a little bit. So I think they were only a few bucks. So if I like them, great. There's a couple bucks. If I don't like them, I'll just pick them off and toss them. All right, so car's protesting a little bit, but I had to turn it so you could see what we ended up doing. Now, other than the obvious of, you know, ambient lighting and it's saying M, there's a few things that make it that much nicer. So you can see here, the little carbon fiber things, little accents. And then if we move to the front, you see the M style mirror cap. So that's basically like an M5 style mirror. It's nice that this is all still smoked. Now, these were a bit of a pain. The caps I had didn't fit. So while I pulled them off, I decided to wrap them with carbon fiber vinyl wrap. And moving to the front, you can see the eyebrow on this side and the eyebrow on that side. So along with the eyebrow, I deleted the little orange marker light here. I think it ends up looking a lot cleaner. Around the front end, you can see I've already done the M style grills. I did the front lip. Now the eyebrows, so blacking it out for the most part. I just trimmed a little bit of carbon vinyl to overlay on the blue, but I think it's looking pretty good. Side profile is actually quite clean now. It's all black, which is what I was going for. It'd be nice if I had the shadow line trim, but it is what it is. I have a buddy that could black it out for me or I'll try and get a little bit handy. Anyways, it just goes to show for a few bucks, I think 40, 50 bucks total. You could get, well, including the front lip and everything else, I would say everything, maybe 180 bucks, Canadian pesos. Gives you an idea of what you could do on the cheap to make it look that much better. Whether I like it or not, maybe I take some of it off, maybe I like it, who knows? Let me know what you think. It's probably not for everybody. Some people would like the accents and the two-tone and whatnot, but trying to go for more of a sleek murdered appearance. So anyways, that's all for today. Take care. We'll see you guys in the next one.